Hello, Javier here. In today's video we're going to prove that 0.9 repeating is equal to 1. The first thing we're going to do is a simple fraction addition. So we'll start with 1 third plus 1 third plus 1 third. Now since all three of these fractions have the same denominator, which is 3, that carries over. And we just add the numerators, and we get 1 plus 1 plus 1 is equal to 3, which simplifies to 1. So we know that the three fractions, 1 third plus 1 third plus 1 third, uh, added together, equals 1. So now let's do the same exact calculation, this time in decimal notation. Now the first thing we need to do is figure out the decimal notation for 1 third. And we will do this using long division. So we divide 3 into 1. Uh, which is also, we'll leave those zeros there, and these go on out. <clears throat> 3 goes into 1 zero times, since it's greater than 1. We bring the decimal point up. Now 3 goes into 10 three times. 3 times 3 equals 9. 10 minus 9 equals 1. We bring the zero down. Have 10 again. 3 goes into 10 3 times, 3 times 3 equals 9, 1, 10, 3, and this goes on. So what we have is the uh, decimal notation for 1 third is 0.3 repeating. Okay, so we'll leave that there. And then the next thing we'll do is we'll add these together. 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3. three. And plus, uh, as you can see clearly, this comes out to 0 0.999 repeating. So there we go. 1 is equal to 0 0.9999. <coughs> okay, for our next proof, what we're going to do is so we're going to let x equal 0 0.999 repeating. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to multiply this by 10. So we multiply both sides by 10, and we get 10x equals, uh, when you multiply by 10, you just move the decimal uh, point 1 over. So you get 9.999, and this goes on forever. Uh, it basically shifts it over, except that since this is infinite, since it never stops, the nines go on forever and ever, uh, there is no shift at the end because there is no end. It just goes on. Uh, so then, what we're going to do here is let's, uh, let's reverse the order of these. We're going to go with 10x equals 9.999, repeating and x equals 0 0.999 repeating. Now, let's subtract them. 10x minus x equals 9x. And uh, 9 minus 0 equals 9. 9 minus 9, 9 minus 9, 9 minus 9, 9 minus 9. So this is 0, all the way down. So just 0, 0, 0, which of course equals 9. So this, what we get, is 9x equals 9, or x equals 9 divided by 9, which equals 1. But if we recall from here, x equals 0 0.99999 repeating, therefore 0 0.999 repeating is equal to 1. Okay. Now, if that doesn't convince you, we'll do one more thing. If 0 0.999 repeating is not equal to 1, then there must be some number that falls between them. And the reason for this is because of a concept called continuity. Now, continuity states that uh, in the real, uh, the real numbers, which are continuous, uh, that any two numbers, uh, no matter how close together they are, if they are not the same number, there will be another number between them. In fact, there will be an 
infinite amount of numbers between them, but there'll be at least one number between them. So if these two are not equal, then there must be a number that falls between them. So what we're going to do is we're going to find the halfway point between them. And we're going to use the uh, formula going, well, we'll let A equal 0 0.999 repeating and B equal 1. Uh, so then what we'll do is we'll go A plus B divided by 2. So we're going to add the two together, divide by 2, and that'll give us the midway point, and uh, that'll give us a number that falls between 0.99 repeating and 1. So A plus B is equal to 1.99999. And then we divide by 2. Uh, let's move this down some. So we go 2, 1.999, repeating. Okay, uh, 2 goes into 1 no time. 2 goes into 19 9 times. 9 times 2 is 18. Subtract, you get 1. Carry down the 9. 2 goes into 19 9 times. 2 times 9 is 18. 1, 9, 9. So therefore, what we get is the midway point between these two is 0.99999, which is, in fact, the same as A. So, what we get is A plus B divided by 2 is equal to A, or A plus B equals 2A by multiplying both sides by 2, or A plus B equals A plus a, subtract A from both sides, we get B equals A, uh, which essentially says that 0.9999 repeating is equal to 1. Okay, now we're going to do one more thing, is we're going to look at a number line. We've got a number line here, starting with 0, and we have 1, and let's just finish it off with 2. So this is just the numbers between 0 and 2, uh, not counting. 0 and 2. So we just want the numbers in the vicinity of 1. Now, all numbers in decimal notation that are to the left of the 1 have a 0 in front of the decimal point, to the left of the decimal point. Whereas all numbers to the right of the 1 on this number line in decimal notation will have a 1 to the left of the decimal point. Now what we want to do is we want to try to find the largest number possible, but still has a zero to the left of the decimal point. Uh, we want a number that is close to one as possible, still has that zero. If you increment it by any amount, no matter how small, how infinitesimal, you're going to end up with a number that has one to the left of the decimal point. Well, that number is clearly 0 0.999 repeating, where every single digit uh, is a nine. Uh, that's the only one, because any incrementation anywhere along there, and you're going to end up with a 1 in the front. Now, if you come the other direction and uh, try to get the smallest number that still has a 1, any number that if you take away the smallest little bit of it, you're going to end up with a 0 to the left of the decimal point. That number is clearly 1.0000 repeating. Now, here's the interesting thing. Since these numbers, uh, by continuity, there's nothing between them because we've gone as far as we can go. We can't go any further. There's no more numbers smaller than this because then we'll have numbers on this that will be to the left of 1. And this one is the largest one here because if there's any number, no matter how much larger is going to be to the right of 1. Therefore, there's no number between those, and by continuity, they must be equal. Therefore, in conclusion, 0 0.999 repeating is equal to 1. And there you have it. Absolute positive proof 
this is not a matter of opinion. Uh, this is not something we can agree to disagree on. Uh, it, it's not a question of lack of evidence or needing further testing. This is an absolute mathematical fact. Uh, a lot of people don't like it. I'm not sure why, but uh, they're just simply wrong. This is a fact. It's a fact of math. It really is. 0.999 repeating really is 1. So anyway, this is Javier. Thank you for watching. Out.